Welcome to Dummy Smart. It's an NCRT 12 standard integral. Now, as we do the questions, we will learn the formulas, we will learn the concept, we will learn the basics, we will learn the beauty of everything about the integrals. Instead of violating all the formulas at the stretch, as we work, I think we will come across that and you will feel easy. Let's start. Integration is the most important part of mathematics for your higher studies and even for your physics, it's very important. You're good in integration, you're good in calculus, then you're good in everything. We will see. And now, uh, this is examples uh, from our book part two. By inspection, we have to integrate cos 2x, 3x squared plus 4x cubed, 1 by x, x cube minus 1 by x square and x to the power of 2 by 3 plus 1 and so on, all this, by inspection. What do you mean by inspection? What is the definition of integration? You use a symbol, I'm, I'm going from zero level, so even if you don't know anything about integration, you listen to me, you will follow. I'm going to integrate, this is a symbol which we use for integration. A function. Of course, a function is in x. So you say dx. I want an answer there. I want an answer there. Let us say e is answer. When I differentiate that a, I should get fx. That is, dA by dx should be fx. This is the definition of integration. Very simple definition, which builds a chapter to such a, such a, such a high level. Now, for example, let us say I am going to integrate d power x dx. dx stands for with respect to x. I want an answer in R, which when I differentiate, I should get d power x. And you know, e power x is the function. When I differentiate, I will get e power x. So, integral of e power x dx is e power x. Fine. But, what happens if I put the answer as e power x plus 1? If I differentiate e power x plus 1, derivative of 1 will be 0. That is also e power x. What will happen if I differentiate e power x plus 2? That also will be e power x. What will happen if I differentiate e power x plus m, where m is a constant? That also will be e power x. So we put a c, we put a c, where c is called the constant of integration. Integration is not complete without a constant. Now the answer we get is not a definite answer, because c can be anything. So this uh, preliminary part we are doing, which we are going to do now, is called indefinite integration. The answer is indefinite. It can be e power x plus 1, it can be e power x plus 2, it can be e power x plus c, where c is the constant of integration. So this part is indefinite integration. So now the first one says, you integrate all that just by inspection, just by inspection. As we work, we will connect the formulas with that and we will try to become a master of that. Now the first one is, we are going to integrate, we are going to integrate cos 2x dx. I want an answer there. When I differentiate, I should get cos. What is derivative of sine? What is derivative of sine? It will be cos. Derivative of sine will be cos. So I write here sine 2x. But when I differentiate this, it will be cos 2x into 2 by chain rule. So that 2 is not here, no? So abide 2. 
differentiate this half. Derivative of sine will be cos, so cos 2x into 2, uh, 2 and 2 will get cancelled, it will be cos 2x plus c. This is what he tries to tell you, integrated by inspection. There is something called a substitution, which we can see in our next video. So this is the answer for the first one. You check it, you inspect it. Always a, a basic integration could be checked by differentiating that. Now our next one will be three x square plus four x cube. Integrate three x square plus four x cube dx. Put like this. Integrate 3x square plus 4x cube dx. Now let us learn the formula first. The first formula, what we did previous will be integral of cos x dx will be sin x plus c. Integral of cos x dx will be sin x plus c. Now our second derivative, we are going to integrate the x power n dx. I want an answer there. When I differentiate that answer, I should get x power n, dear viewers, I should get x power n. So that will be by inspection, x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. Come on, differentiate this, n plus 1 into x power n plus 1 minus 1. That will be x power n. We get this plus c. So, for example, what will be here integral of x is not here minus n is not here minus 1. It's not minus 1. Now, what will happen if it is integral x to the power of 2 dx? What is that function when you differentiate will give you x squared? You know it will be x cubed by 3. Use the formula x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. n is here 2. So it is x to the power of 2 plus 1, 3 by 3 plus c. So this is done by inspection. This is what you say integrated by inspection. So now we will go for this. So our second formula for the day. Integral of x power n dx x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. Already I have given you another formula. Integral cos x dx is sin x plus c. This is standard. And this 2 was there which I was uh, trying to inspect it and introduce some uh, numericals there to get the answer. And third one I have given you in the beginning only. What will be integral of e power x dx? What is integral of e power x dx? Come on, what will be? It will be e power x plus c. Something which does not change. You integrate it, it does not change. You differentiate it, it does not change. That is e power x. So now, we go for this question. Now, it's all plus. It could be split. Integral. 3x square dx plus integral 4x cube dx. You can put last one c, that is enough. Or you can put a c1 here and c2 here and combine it, it's your wish. 3 is a multiple constant, it could be taken out. x square dx plus 4 is a multiple constant, x cube dx. So what is the integral x power n? x power n plus 1 by n plus 1, if you use the formula. If you do by inspection, what is that which will come when you differentiate it will be x square, it will be x cube by 3. So 3 into plus some c1 plus 4 into plus some c2. Some c2. So this and this will get cancelled. x cube plus. This is x power 4. The 2 could be put as 1. This is the answer for this.
differentiate this fully x cube 3x square x power 4 4x cube and derivative of c will be 0 so you get the answer next log x, I am sorry, derivative of log x will be 1 by x. If it is log of minus x, where x is positive, so minus x will be negative, it will be 1 by minus x, into derivative of minus x will be mi minus 1, so that minus and minus will make it plus, so this will be 1 by minus x into minus 1, which will be 1 by x, so combined together, it will be log of mod x, where we talk logarithm only in the defined domain. So, integral 1 by x dx is logarithm of mod x plus c. Our next one. Our next one. Integrate x cube minus 1 by x squared. Integrate x cube minus 1 by x square dx. Split it. Integral x cube by x square minus 1 by x square dx. Integral x cube by x square minus 1 by x square dx. So what's going to be this? This is the integral x cube by x squared dx minus take this to the top x power minus 2 dx now this will be x squared by 2 after integration you will split it now minus x to the power of minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus c that is x squared by 2 minus x power minus 1. So with this minus, this will become plus plus c. You do like this. Or else you write x square by 2 plus 1 by x plus c. Okay. Now it's up to you. You check it. After differentiation, are you getting that answer? The next question. The next question. x power 2 by 3 plus 1. Integrate x to the power of 2 by 3 plus 1. Split it. Integral x to the power of 2 by 3 dx plus integral dx x to the power of 2 by 3. n is there 2 by 3. So this is x to the power of 2 by 3 plus 1 by 2 by 3 plus 1. Integral of dx is just dx. What is integral of dx? Just dx plus c. So this is x to the power of 5 by 3 by 5 by 3. That is 3 by 5 plus x this is the answer for this question. Which question is that? Um, that question. This question. This is the answer for this question. This is the answer for this question. 
Now I go for the next one. All you need is practice in integration. Integration, uh, I can say, is the most important topic. Every topic is important. Uh, which part of your body can you say is very important? Every part of your body is important. And unless all the parts are functioning properly, uh, we can't uh, be a very energetic human being or we can't be a happy human being. Same way, every part of mathematics is important. What is that we can say which is important? Like you ask me which part of the body is important? Every part of the body is important. Every part of mathematics is important. Still I can say that calculus is the most important part for an engineering student. Now we go for uh, this question, integrate the x to the power of 3 by 2 plus 2e power x minus 1 by x dx. Practice very, very nicely uh, so that you have a flow in integration. As we work, there are so many formulas. So when you start doing it, some formula should pour into the notebook. It should pour into the paper. Like that mastery you have to have. This is now split it. Integral x to the power of 3 by 2 dx plus integral 2 e power x dx minus integral 1 by x dx. You can put last one c, that is enough. So this is x to the power of 3 by 2 plus 1 by 3 by 2 plus 1 plus take out 2 outside integral e power x dx. This I integrated. So I remove that integral sign. Minus. 1 by x will be logarithm of mod x. Plus. So this is x to the power of 5 by 2 by 5 by 2 no? Plus. Integral of e power x is that's what we started. That is e power x only. 2 e power x. And minus, there's a minus here, so minus log mod x plus c. 1 c is enough. If you put 3 c's, that will be combined as 1 c. So this is the answer for whatever question we are working. That will be this question. Now the next one. Integration, uh, I can say, is quite important for areas. It's in our syllabus. It's in your NCRT syllabus and it's in IIT and you know, the other exams you go also. And it's very important for solving differential equations. Generally, I repeat, it's a very important chapter and we have to master all the formulas today. It's simple, but it will go like that, no? So now we go for, this is all. Now we go for this. Integral sine x plus cos x dx. Split it. Integral sine x dx plus integral cos x dx. What is that function when you differentiate will give you sine x? If you say cos x, derivative of cos x is minus sine x. So integral of sine x will be minus cos x. Now you differentiate this, you will get sine x plus this will be sin x plus c. So now I have given you one more extra formula. Integral of sin x dx will be minus cos x plus c. Integral of sin x, integral of sin x, cos x. Integral of sin x is cos x or minus cos x because sin means a minus due to positive. Derivative of sin, derivative of sin will be cos. But derivative of cos will be minus sine. So integral sine x will be minus cos x. We have to keep that in our mind. Integral of sine x will be minus cos x. And integral of cos x, cos means a minus with minus, no? But it's not minus, it will be sine x, okay? So integral of cos x, sine x. Integral of sine x, minus cos x. Integral of e power x, e power. Of course, plus c is there everywhere. Integral of 1 by x, Integral of 1 by x, log of mod x. Integral e power x, 
e power x. Of course, plus c plus c is there everywhere. Integral of x power n, x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. So, integral of sin x minus cos x, integral of cos x, sin x. Okay. Next we go. You can always check. Next we go for integral cosecant x into cosecant x plus cortex x. Take it inside. Integral of cosecant square x plus cosecant x cot x dx. So this is going to be integral cosecant square x dx plus integral cosecant x cot x dx. What is that function which when differentiated will give you cosecant square x? What is d by dx of cot x? Minus cosecant square x. So integral cosecant square x will be minus cot x. Integral of cosecant square x will be minus cot x. Differentiate this, you will be getting this. What is that function? Which when differentiated will give you cosecant x cortex. What is the derivative of secant x? Secant x tan x. What is the derivative of cosecant x minus cosecant x cortex? So this will be minus cosecant x plus c. This will be the answer for this question. So now we have a new formula. Inter we can't dump. A minus not a dump yet. We cannot dump. We have to slowly, slowly digest it. And as we take it inside, we have to enjoy it. And we have to master it. And we have to prepare ourselves for the exam such that we deliver it in a very fast way to talk any exam. Ultimately, the goal of a student life is to talk any exam. So every life has a goal. Now what's the goal of my life? I have to reach all the students so that every child will say, Tummy is mad, so I understand well. That's my goal. So your goal as a student, whatever I do, I have to talk the exam. So please put your heart and soul into whatever you're working so that you will learn. Now let's go for this. I give you a new formula. What is integral cosecant square x? What is integral cosecant square x? Minus cot x. Minus cot x. What is integral cosecant x into cot x dx? What is integral cosecant x into cot x dx? Minus cosecant x. Minus cosecant x. Okay? Uh, next one. Our next one. Integrate 1 minus sin x by cosecant square x dx. Integrate 1 minus sin x by cosecant square x dx. Split it. Integral of dx by cosecant square x minus integral of sin x by cos square x, which I write as cos x into cos x dx. Cosecant square x, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, cos square x. 1 by cos square x, I'm so sorry, 1 by cos square x minus sin x. That cos square x is written as cos x into cos x. This cos square x taken to the top. It is secant square x dx. This is not cosecant square, it is cos square. Minus sin x by cos x is tan x. 1 by cos x is secant x dx. What is that function which when differentiated will give you secant square? What is d by dx of tan x? Secant square x. 
So this is tan x minus. What is that function which when differentiated when do you see can take tan x? C plus C. So 1 minus cos x by cos square x. It's not cosecant square. It is cos square. Split it. 1 by cos square minus sin x by cos will be cos into cos. It goes to the top. It will become secant square. This will be tan. And this goes to the top, it will be secant. It gives you two standard formulas, integral of secant square, which will be tan x, and integral of tan x secant x, which will be secant x. Now two more formulas to our list. Integral secant square x dx. Integral secant square x dx. What's the answer for that? Tan x. Of course, there is always a plus c. Integral secant x tan x. What is that? That will be secant x. Okay? So, two more new formulas to our list. Now, uh, next one we will see. Next one we will see. Find the antiderivative. Integration is called antiderivative. Find the antiderivative of f. Antiderivative f. Of fx equal to 4x cube minus 6. Where f0 is 3. They want the antiderivative. So f is equal to integral 4x cube minus 6 dx. So f is equal to f. We have to get good fx. This will be integral 4x cube dx minus integral 6 dx. This is fx is equal to. 4 into x to the power of 4 by 4 minus 6x plus c. To find out c, he says f0 is 3. So when I give 0 here, this is f0. This is 3. This is 0, 0. That is c. So what is fx now? This and this will get cancelled. x power 4 minus 6x plus 3. This will be the answer for this. So all this is over now. Now this will take just 5 minutes. So I will explain this. Then after that uh, we can continue in our next video. Now look at this. This is exercise 7.1. You are going to do by <coughs> from 1 to 5, you are going to do by inspection. You can do everything by inspection. Sine 2x, 7.1. Integrate sine 2x dx. What does it mean? Main means you start with this. This you can leave it. This, this could be adjusted. Many ways it could be adjusted. I will teach you in the next video. Sine. What is integral sign? What is integral sign? Minus cos. So you will write minus cos 2x. But uh, yeah, I leave like that when I differentiate one 2 will be extra. So by 2 plus 3. Differentiate this. Derivative of cos will be minus sign. With this minus will become plus and 2 will get that. This is the answer for this. Next one. Integrate cos 2x. Integrate cos 2x dx. Cos, cos. So that will be sine 2x. So 2x is here. So when I differentiate that extra 2 will be there plus c. Same question. So we can do by some simple substitution uh, which we can learn afterwards. Next is integrate e power 2x dx. E power 2x. I can't even say that, no? So by 2 and then it will be plus c. Next. Next. Integrate a x plus b whole square. Whole square x power n x power n. But when 
I differentiate, one a will come now. 3 into ax plus b whole power 2. So that 3 and 3 will get cancelled. And differentiation of ax plus b will be a. Uh, but that's not there now. So what you will have? A by a plus c. Now differentiate this. 3 into ax plus b whole square into derivative of ax plus b which will be a. And that a and this way will get cancelled. That 3 also will get cancelled. You will get the same. So this will be the integration of this. The next is integral sine to x. Integral sine to x minus 4 e power 3x dx. What is going to be this? What's going to be this? We'll see. Split it. Integral. Sine 2x dx minus integral 4 e power 3x dx. Sine, sine minus cos 2x by 2. Differentiate this, minus will come, so that will become plus. Minus 4 will be outside, e power 3x by 3 plus, next one will be, next. So this is over, now we go for this. Integral. 4 e power 3x plus 1 dx. Integral 4 e power 3x dx plus integral dx. 4 is outside. Integral e power 3. Please practice with all the steps and especially for your NCRT. Uh, your uh, steps, proper steps you give, it's very impressive. So this is 4. This is e power 3x by 3. Plus integral dx will be x plus c. Okay. This is the answer for this. Next we go for. Next we go for. So this is over. We go for this. Integral. x square into. 1 minus 1 by x square dx. Take it inside. x square and x square will get cancelled. Okay. Integral. What is integral x square dx? x cube by 3 minus x plus c. Okay. That will be the answer for this. Take it inside x square. Take it inside x square and x square will get cancelled. It will become 1. So this will be the answer for that question. Next we go for. Next we go for. Integrate ax square plus bx plus c dx. So this is integral ax square dx plus integral bx dx plus integral c dx. A is a constant, take it out. Integral x square dx, b is a constant, take it out. And c is a constant, take it out. So this is A x cube by 3 plus b x square by 2 plus c into x. You can put another k of c1 because already there is a c there. So you can put c1. c1 is constant of integration. No problem is complete without constant of integration. That's the reason it's called indefinite. See how beautifully they have termed it. Indefinite integration. Indefinite integration. Now, we go for. Just uh, two more minutes. It will be over.
indefinite integration. Now our next one will be, this is over, very simple, just two minutes. One minute for this, one minute for this. Integrate. Two, two into x part two, plus c power x dx. Split it. I think by now you have gained speed. Two outside. Just one minute. One minute. So what we did? x cube by 3. e power integral of e power x, e power x plus c. The last question for the day. Integrate. Root x minus 1 by root x. It is whole square. A minus B whole square, A square, square of this, minus 2AB, this and this will get cancelled, minus 2, plus B square, plus 1 by H dx. So, integral of X, I think I will give you another step also, minus integral 2 dx, plus integral 1 by X dx. So, this is X square by 2, minus 2x plus log of mod x plus c. So revise all this, learn all the formula I have taught you and come for the next class where we will continue with our exercise 7.1. So today I have given you integral e power x, integral x power n, integral uh, cos x, integral sin x, integral secant square x, integral cosecant square x, integral secant x, uh, tan x, integral cosecant x cot x. So learn all this. It can't be done in one day. Slowly you will learn it, master it. Next class we will continue with our exercise 7.1. Till then have a wonderful learning in maths.